Today we are doing a little more boat shopping. We got, I think, two or three boats, some just across off of our list, and one that sounds and seems like it's perfect. But, there's a big but. Hey, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This boat is, well, sounds perfect on paper, but the big but, it is a really big but, <laughs> it's $150,000 over our budget. But we're pretty sure Kent is just gonna make up that extra bit with his uh, fabulous negotiating skills. At least that's what he promised us, right? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> big bargain. <laughs> <laughs> He's confident he can knock off that extra 150000 oh, well. The kitchen's really good. It's got a lot more storage than what it looks like. From underneath these, I mean, you actually have storage all underneath this whole thing. So there really is a fair amount of space in here, probably more than we've seen on any other boat, I would say, so far. So, but, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> a fridge on one side, freezer on freezer the other? Freezer on the other. Gotcha. Not bad. It's, I mean, really pretty good space in there. Nice little bar area. Yeah, I do like that. It just you're struggling with space in comparison to say like our RV, we have a little more storage in our, in our kitchen area. So here for the galley to have this extra little bit still makes a difference. Yeah. And the table area seems plenty large enough. Mm -hmm. And then Mickey's little desk. I could definitely work here and boss you around, you know, from the nav station, from the nav yeah. station. Okay. I, s I got it. <laughs> oh, this, if you wanted, we could do the same finish and always make this bigger if you wanted it. Mm. You know. Come here, I want to show you this. The, the whole floor. window thing is always a conundrum, right? How do you sleep in a boat, oh, especially yeah, yeah. in passages when you have to take shifts and you might need to nap during the day. It gets really bright in here, which I really like. But check these out. I like that. You just geeked out like on a ten dollar product. I know, but I love it. I can't like it's the first time I've seen that. Oh, let's talk about Sorry. this bedroom. Holy cow, I, you can actually get I around know. the bed. You can actually walk up on to make up the bed, which is a lot better than like crawling through a little porthole. And this thing. is an owner's version. And that's mm -hmm. one of the reasons we are really excited about seeing this yes, one. Yes, because this is the the master bedroom, which is fantastic. Like there's quite a bit of room in here and lots of little shelves and stuff but what I really love is this area right here because there is a desk which we desperately need and lots of storage closets and cabinets and yeah and now you're in the bathroom I'm just being backed into the bathroom <laughs> yes which is also really fantastic because it's huge that's the great thing about an owner version versus the charter version it's so much more room and separate shower, which are in now. Big old shower. Plastic things over the windows. Still talking about the ten dollar oh, plastic I thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Technical stuff. Things. Yeah. <laughs> that makes a big difference. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that is that genius. Uh -huh. Yeah, just remember yeah. That. We're yeah. buying this boat. Well, yep. come on, how much yeah. cheaper would that be in the RV than those expensive ah. MCD shades? The headliners are on with Velcro. You can bring them down. Um, you can get behind panels behind all the doors. There's access to the hull, to all your um, hoses and wiring running in conduits. So you can service um, all the systems. And Easily access them yeah so if you have a leak or something in a hose air conditioning or pressured water you can get to it and get to it quickly um, some other boat manufacturers you can't do that you've got to cut your way in all right next hole yep one step mm -hmm. it's nice that the extra rooms are just as spacious as the master, really. And look. That can hold a lot of stuff. It's a liquor cabinet. 
basically the same? Uh, no. Well, yeah, basically the same bedroom, but the bathroom is a lot smaller on this side. <clears throat> so, sorry, Mom. This is where our company would sleep. Yes. And that would be their bathroom. Oh, no, there's another one over here. Another bathroom? Yeah, I thought there was just Yeah, one. there's on suite. So there's three heads. Three heads, yes. Better get that verbiage right. For all you verbiage Nazis. Oh, yeah. Still in cleaning process. What would you suggest? Uh, like gas lifts. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd make this board one board and then hinge it at the back and then a gas lift. So that oh, stay, so up. stay up. Yeah, yeah. And it goes up a good way. So you're not dealing with holding mattresses up. Looks pretty clean in here. There's a RO water system to make water. Okay. To the washer yeah. dryer. Uh, Where is it? It's right here. I thought it was just a regular cabinet, but uh, there it is. Ta -da. Ta -da. Very important piece. Ken's trying to get us a discount over there. <laughs> yeah. It's broken. Breaking stuff. Need more price. And then just more storage up for it. You see over here, there's a floor. That's a crash locker. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's the so, when the water, if yeah. we hit something. Yeah, yeah. And then the inspection hatch so you can see it. Uh -huh. So now you see why we like the layout of the boat, but it's the nuts and bolts um, that we also like. 1700 engine hours, The they've done a lot of upgrades. And low usage. Low yeah. usage. All right, let's step out and see what this, what we have out here. Okay. So, nice area here with, what did you call this, Kent? Uh, easy to see one. Mm. Looking cool. Yes. Super clear. Yeah, high-end plastic. Yeah. But really nice, especially on a foul weather day. Be very grateful for that. Yeah, and this this middle panel comes out for ventilation. Nice, there's extra storage underneath cushions, all kinds of good stuff there. Brand new cushion covers. Not that we need that. They're not our colors, but they look yeah. nice. I like that it's nice, easy pass through here. Trampolines look like they're in good condition. Pull a rubber in. That's where the cats can go pee. Yeah, I think they got two dogs. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I don't think it said that the sails have ever been replaced. No, that's original. I can see that. Yeah. Not much use, but they are showing somewhere in tea in yeah. terms of the threading in there. Yeah, that's what I was just wondering because I can see. see there. So, yeah, we would suggest taking them off and, and it's called servicing. So they restitch all the everything. Yeah. Because the UV breaks that down. So that's a discount, right? Yeah, it's a discount. Okay, good. Yeah. So the ropes are probably all original. Yeah, they're oh. still fine. They're, they're serviceable. The lines. The lines. Yeah. The halyards. The halyards. We're going to get Ropes, this thing. Strings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. That's your dry event. This you can close off if you're really in bad weather. So, no, so that's closed now. Yeah, and then you just open it up. That switch is for the winch as well. This is for the winch. Mm. Oh, so like a foot press. This is big storage up here. And the pair of the water tank? Uh, yeah. Now another thing on these boats, this is what's called a tie bar or um, between your rudders. So the rudders are joined, you know, they're not hydraulic or anything. Um, hydraulic steering, the rudders can go out of alignment, mm. whereas these ones can't. Always together. This is great. This yeah. is, if you want bulletproof steering, this is it. So it would be the same for the side or different? No, well you'll see the generator in there. Yeah, it's a little bit cluttered for my liking. Yeah, we didn't put this in. You can see it. You can see the Jenny right there. 
It's that white box. Six kilowatt. Yep. I like the fact that we can be this far apart. <laughs> <laughs> What's that say, really? <laughs> We've made a list. I've written three good things about this particular boat. And I've written three bad. Well. Number one being a good, mm -hmm. light use, and very clean. And the attention to detail, the, the owners are very meticulous, and you can tell by mm -hmm. walking around that they've gone the extra mile to make sure this boat is clean and well kept. And this is their temporary home when they come down to Florida. So it, it's very nice in that aspect. Yes. Well, and downside would be the fact that um, everything has been so well maintained over the years, they haven't had to necessarily replace things. And it obviously is not a heavily used boat. So things like the sails and the rigging will all need to be serviced, as well as even some of like the woodworking and a few cosmetics things. Nothing yeah. crazy, but just you know, no, extra but it's, expenses. Yeah. It's never been chartered, and this might be one of the biggest features, is the fact that it's never been chartered. It has such low engine hours, and it's not been sailed that far or that much, so most everything is in really good condition. The next one for me would be the fact that there are no drop windows, so it doesn't have the, the nice big square windows along this edge so you've got good visibility out your side windows but you're a little more obstructed here and in some of the newer leopards and in some of the lagoons you have those nice big windows yeah, so windows. it really you can see a lot of the outside it feels really makes everything so much more spacious yeah all right last but certainly not least the good point layout the owner's version this is an owner's version of this leopard and these are like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Mm -hmm. it's I think the first was, one we've been in. Yeah, there's not that many floating around. Yeah, we've not no, seen many out there available, so. Yeah, this is, we definitely know now we want an owner's version because of the fact that we have a larger stateroom or bedroom. I don't know, what, what do we call it, Kent? What's the bedroom called? Cabin. 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 Ah, yes, an owner's cabin and an owner's bath. No, head. Head. <laughs> And shower. I think they still call it a shower. <laughs> shower. Okay, yeah, shower. shower. <laughs> the boat anyway, shower. Yeah. The layout is just... It's is, great. It's exactly what Very we want. Very livable, yes. Yeah. No charter versions for us. We want owner's versions. Yeah, you say that. Yeah. <laughs> Can we afford it? Speaking of can we afford it, right. would be number three would be the budget. Oh. This is literally $150,000 over our budget, yeah, which that's means... That's just the asking price, though. Yeah. But even still, even if you wiggle and you negotiate, there's no two ways about it. If we wanted this boat, we would have to take out a loan, which we've been trying to avoid big time. Because, well, it's hard to remain nomadic if you've got a bunch of debt. And debt. we really try very hard to live debt-free. Debt so free. no loan is a big deal for us. Oh, yeah. So that's why it uh, brings us back to the beginning. This is the perfect boat for us. But. But. <laughs> <laughs> we can't afford it. <laughs> All right, let's go see another. All right. We'll put in an offer just in case. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, we will. Yeah. Well, no, I we can. will. Yeah, it just, okay, yeah. yeah. And on we go. Where to next? To the um, Quintan Pajar. <gasps> <gasps> Thank you, dear. Such a gentleman. I know. Alright. They're working on it. Definitely has not been taken care of. This is not good. This looks like stress right here because it's on both sides of the mask. It's not good. 
System. Just lighter. Uh, lighter. Do you want me to pull that hatch open? Don't say Kent never did anything. Yeah, I don't say I did. These are the 29 horsepower. Yeah, 10 horsepower or less. Yeah, it's, it's not ideal. From the bimini, the wires come down here into the, this is probably the solar controller or at least the remote. And the helm is covered right now. 2001, yeah. So this one's never been charted, is that what I was reading? Correct. Yeah. It has been on the market for a little while, it just got reduced. Oh, okay. Yeah. A little tight. It's awkward to get in here, but once you're in here, it's not so bad. Yeah. But you're like, it's like right eye height. <laughs> Don't get in a rush. Lots of headaches. Yeah, it's a little ice <laughs> weaker. Mm -hmm. Here's the bedroom. And you can walk around this one. No separate shower, just the blow-out faucet. Pretty good size. Locker. Locker. And then the other side is the... What's his face? Yeah. But this is the owner's version, right? Correct. Yeah, that's what I thought. like the owner's versions, they're always so much better. Layouts. Oh yeah, I remember this. Uh -huh. This is like a nice little side table slash desk thing. Yep. Here with storage. And like a... Lounge area. Little, yeah, lounge area. Man, I really need a wider lens. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of storage in here, surprisingly. Yeah, there really is. I mean, it's it's not a bad layout and it's not bad storage. It's just very hard to look past all of the uh, cosmetic stuff. And they ran the wires. Wow. Yeah. Man. Here's the owner's bathroom or yeah. head and shower. Yeah, All right, let's go back up. Uh, yeah. See, Kent, our broker, over there. Yeah. I think this was a dirty broker trick. Show us that last one and then show us this one. Shame cat. We'll go ask him. What? <laughs> Nothing. What? Nothing. I just told everybody that this might have been a dirty trick. Because he showed us the last one that was amazing. <laughs> What? And then showed us this piece yeah. of crap. Yeah, <laughs> it's a beauty. Oh, man. This is Sales Ploy 101, brokerage school. I knew it. I knew it. I did shame. <laughs> yeah. Finger of shame. Yeah. Play this video yeah. when we have brokerage school. Yeah, he's trying. He's making that other boat look real good right about now. And this oh. one is, is just almost the same price. Almost the same price. Yeah. Which is crazy because it's older and that is in absolutely pitiful condition, or at least that's what it looked like to me. It's terrific. I yeah. mean, that is just, I mean, no way. Yeah. Hear the construction truck. <laughs> Hi, bud. Hi, family. That was a little depressing. Um, and 
good all at the yeah. same time. We feel like we've narrowed it down to pretty much two, two boats. boats that we really like. The third boat we were supposed to look at, we got a call halfway through uh, looking at the Leopard and they said that the boat's under contract now and they didn't want us walking through it. So that's why we only saw two boats today. Yep. Uh, which was the Lagoon 410. No. Yeah. There was a Lagoon 410 we were going to look at, but oh. sadly um, it's under it contract. Yeah. It's gone but basically until yeah, maybe forever. Yeah. But the Lagoon 410 and the Leopard 43. We're thinking those are our two boats that we're looking for now, which is good. We've narrowed it down. And that's all we can do. Yeah, now we just have to wait or make an offer on the one we saw, and we are considering making an offer. But it is out of our budget, so we're gonna hold off and see if we can't find something else out there floating somewhere before we jump the gun on that. The number one thing that Kent said was, don't be in a rush. Something will come up. <laughs> it might be a year. <laughs> That's but, what it is. So, yeah. yeah. So, there you go. There you Boat go. shopping is taking a much longer... Yeah, Singh is very upset about yeah. it, too. <laughs> it's a much longer process than we anticipated. We're trying to be patient and just stay the course. Go with the flow. See you next time. Nice to you. Sure. Go beat the cat. Oh, Singa. <laughs> Come on, you want to go outside, buddy? Go outside. How's it going? How's it going?